I'm talking about a woman in her 30s and up. Yes, that is considered an older woman. And I'm gonna use myself, for example, man. The best experience is personal experience. Imagine a dude, so I just dropped a video yesterday talking about my ex, my first long-term relationship, right? Imagine a dude wifing up my ex. Say it doesn't work out with her, her baby father she's with now, right? She did me dirty, left me for him, had two kids by him, if she if she really does not in love with him, really in love him, and uh, it doesn't work out. Now some simp comes along, he wipes her up. Bro, she has so much baggage, so much baggage, bro. And you have to understand as a man that a lot of these women, when they get in their 30s and up, man, their mind is made up, man. You can't mold a woman in her 30s. She's She already sees the world for what it is. She already sees men and relationships for what they are, man. That's why, you know what I'm saying, even if you're 40, even if you're 40, 42, you get a woman that's 27, 28. You get her right before she hits her 30s. A woman before she hits her 30s still has a chance. There's, there's still a chance that you can mold her into what you want her to be. That you can get her to be aligned with your program, be aligned with your lifestyle. She can be obedient. She can she can be patient and feminine, fit and friendly, and man, and maintain it at all times. But a lot of these women, man, when they get in their thirties and up, it's hard it's hard to do. It's hard for them to do, man. They got so much baggage. A lot of these women, they're not they're not going to seek counseling. A lot of these women, man, they they're on antidepressant pills. A lot of them stop taking them. A lot of them got a lot of a, a lot of built-in anger, daddy issues, a lot of stuff they they haven't been willing to fix, man. You know, only simps come along, and they wife up older women. Only thing you're supposed to do with older women is have a good time. You're 45 and up. There's no need for you to be dating, looking to settle down at that age. I be laughing, bro. I be laughing when I see these women and they. Late 30s, 40s, and 50s, even 60s, man. They be having uh, elderly dating and, and senior dating, senior profiles and shit like this. What are you doing in that age trying to date seriously? There really be women in their 40s and 50s that said they would get married again. And there are super simps out here that would propose to these women, actually marry these women. That shit is crazy, man. At that age, you're honestly just looking for companionship. A lot of these older women, they just want somebody to travel with, company. They don't they don't want to be alone. They don't want to travel alone. They don't want a vacation alone. That's really what it is. And as an older man, as an older gentleman, you have to understand that. So for you to go ahead and try to wipe these women up and take them serious, you're a simp sucker. You're going to get hurt again. These older women are going to mess around and give you a heart attack, man. For real. You got to get to an age as a man where you're done playing stupid games. Because the stupid games don't stop just because you hit your 40s and 50s as a man if you're dating older women. The games sometimes get even worse. Then these women start to go through menopause. Their sex drive isn't what it is. You know? A lot of men up in the age, man, they still have a sex drive, especially if you're healthy, especially if you've been eating right, you're, you're working out. You know? I plan on being that dude, and I know there's already some other dudes that are in their 50s or 60s that don't need Viagra. They don't need it. I actually seen a video. I've talked about uh, Truly before, but Truly is a channel on YouTube and they talk about a lot of weird stuff. A lot of stuff I don't like, man. A lot of, you know, uh, transgender and stuff like that. But they also talk about a lot of older couples, a lot of older men that are dating younger, younger women. And the relationships are successful and they do bring up the sex. And a lot of times these younger women say that the older men still have a sex drive. So why, as a as an older man, you're in your 40s, you're still healthy, you're still in shape, why would you want to deal with a woman in her 40s, a woman in her late, late 30s? Why would you want to deal with that? Women don't get better with time, but we do as men. You got to know your worth, man. You got to know your worth. Your worth is not to be upwards of age still arguing dealing with a combative female that's a lot of these older females are just grumpy and combative man they start to get the mustache hair here they got to keep shaving and stuff like that hair on their neck and stuff how, how do you find that attractive as a as an older man a lot of them don't want to don't want to shave anymore like get out of here man get out of here again man you could be in your early 40s and still date a 28 29 year old there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all y'all both adults y'all both grown to make sound decisions 
and in general, a lot of younger females, they always are attracted to older men. You got to realize this because they know older men have the stability. Most of the time they have their finances together. They have the experience. They're not going to play games. A lot of these women know that a lot of the men around their age be playing games. Dudes play games too. It's not just women. It's not just women. I know on this channel we talk a lot about stuff that females do, but a lot of dudes be playing games, man. They don't want to grow up. Women mature faster than men a lot of the times. And a lot of these dudes, they don't want to grow up, man. So yeah, a lot of y'all, a lot of females in their in their uh in their late twenties will go for a dude in his thirties, in his mid thirties, in his forties. They won't mind. I've even heard some females say that they will date in the upwards of fifties. Yeah, I've heard it. But <clears throat> if you decide to date an older woman, you should not wife her up unless unless she has money. She's got to have money, man. She's got to be willing to spend it on you. I don't care, man. We, we got to talk about it. We got to be real. Dude's been fronting the bill for so long, man. Dude's been going broke taking care of women. Listen, a lot of these older women, they got bread, bro. Whether they're widows, you know, whether they, they got a lot of money through the divorce, whether they just, they they were with a, with a husband who was taking care of them, uh, providing for them, and they got to save all their money. A lot of these women have money. They don't know what to do with it. A lot of them just go on vacations. And they won't mind taking you with them, paying for everything. Buying you nice things. Buying you nice suits and stuff and spending it on you. Listen, there are even older women who will buy you a car, bro. They will buy you a brand new Beamer, brand new Benz. Why not, why not take advantage of that stuff, man? And listen, I'm talking about you being older and her being older. This is what I'm talking about. But again, the only way we're taking a woman like that serious is if she has money and she's fronting the bill. She's got to open up that purse, man. That purse got to be wide open. Wide open with, with no, no hesitation, no limitations. That's the only way you take an older woman serious as an older man who's got his stuff together. But for the most part, man, when it comes to these females, these older females, you in your 30s, and you trying to date a woman in her 30s or upwards, man... You wasting your time, man. As an older man, you just gotta enjoy. Have fun with these females and enjoy your peace. You get what I'm saying? You get up in the age, a lot of dudes, you done been divorced. You, you done you done proposed to a woman, it didn't work out. You got a few baby mothers, a few kids from a few children. Who wants to still be trying to date? At that age. I know I wouldn't. And I'm trying to give a lot of you older dudes advice that you should you still shouldn't be going through that, man. There's nothing wrong with being up in the age and enjoying the older female's company. There's nothing wrong with that. Taking a few trips. Smoking her boots. But we not living together. That's not happening. I'm not proposing. I'm not giving. No, that's not happening. Enjoy each other's company. But when you're ready for your peace as an older man, you're ready to enjoy your peace, man. You go home by yourself. You don't got nobody nagging you. You don't got to worry about that. Because you have to realize that as a man, a lot of these women give up their best years, man. Their best years are their 20s. That's their best years. Like I said in the beginning, when I use myself, for example, a lot of these women had a chance to settle down and, and get married and spend the rest of their lives with the man that they choose to. But a lot of them messed it up. Whether that was them cheating, whether that was them thinking they could do better, whether that was them um, getting with a no good bum dude, you know what I'm saying? get with a sperm donor or something like that but a lot of them gave up their best years so there's no reason for you to come up and try to be a captain save a hoe when, you, when you're when you just going to deal with a headache and you're going to deal with uh, her past her past issues mentally, emotionally that's what you're going to deal with why go through that as a man and how can you not recognize that as a man that her best years are, are her 20s. Once she hits the 30s and up, man, that's that's you're dealing with a headache. So yeah, man, you can go ahead if you want and be a simp and try to try to wipe up an older woman that had her had her, her chances. Or she's gonna see you as as a simp anyway. Cause these women know, they know that their best years are gone. And they know that any dude that comes along is a simp, and they know that he could be controlled. Because that's all these women gonna going to want to do. They're going to want to control you. 
if you hear the stuff that they look for in a man and what they want and they're up in the age, they sound like they're, they're still in high school. They sound like they're still in early years of college, the way they talk. Oh, he's got to make six figures. He's got to be sole provider. His kids have to be older. Da 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 da. They have all these stipulations. When they gave up their best years, listen, you better take what you could get. If you could get with a dude that loves you and respects you, you better be happy with that. All this extra stuff, man. You you should have you should have gotten that in your younger years. That's what you dudes be telling need to tell these women, but you're scared to tell them just because they got a fat ass. Just because they got big boobs. <laughs> Who cares about the, the women's body parts? Women been had nice body parts. The problem is a lot of dudes aren't used to nothing. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. A lot of men aren't used to anything. A lot of these men that go ahead and wife up these older women being simps, they're not used to having a chick with big boobs and a big butt. And, and, and literally just being able to tell her to take off your clothes. Bend over. Literally, she in the kitchen uh, pouring herself a glass of water or making something. You could just get behind her and start rubbing on her booty and pull her pants down and, and literally hit her from the back while she making something and she don't stop you. A lot of dudes are not used to this type of stuff, man. So they see a big butt, they see big boobs, and they go crazy like, oh, I can imagine what I could be doing to this. A lot of grown men still be watching porn, still beating off. So they get in front of an older woman and they're like, man, damn, like the things I could do to her, the things I want to do to her. She looked like she could perform just like that girl I watching, the older woman I watching that porn video. That's the problem. But when you're like me and you're used to having, you get up in the age, if I get up in the age and don't work out with my female I'm with now, I'm not accepting anything, man. I don't care about your big butt. I don't care about your boobs. I don't care about how good your head game is. I done had all that already. I done had all that. I want a woman that's serving King's treatment. I want a woman that has her purse open, her pocketbook open, her wallet open, whatever, however you want to say it, whatever you want to call it. And if I don't find that, then yes, I will get a woman that's in her late 20s that I can mold. Because that's the goal, man. If you up if you up in the age, man, you in your late 30s and you get a, your early 40s, you get with a woman that's in her uh, late 20s, the goal is to set her up so she can... Add, add to the relationship. She needs to be making multiple streams of income because you're up in the age, man, you done done that already. Now she needs to learn. She needs to learn how to, how to bring money into the household. So she's not working under some boss till she gets up in the age. You get what I'm saying? Entrepreneur, entrepreneurism. As a man, when you reach your late 30s, your 40s, you should know all about entrepreneurism. And if you get with a woman that's in her late 20s, that's what you teach her. You teach her entrepreneurism. So she always has respect for you and not some other man that she works for at some, at some stupid company, some stupid law firm, some stupid business. No, the money has to stay in-house. Teach her that. All right, fellas? So yeah, man, I just wanted to come up here and talk about this, man, because I be seeing all these dating shows. I be seeing all these pop the balloon shows. And it's a lot, of, it's a lot of older people, man. It's a lot of older women that they gave up their best years. They built all wild, man. They stomach stick out more than they butt. And they up here talking about what they expect for a man, what they expect for a man to do. And you got these simp ass dudes that be in their 30s and their 40s, they standing up here with their balloon unpopped. <laughs> You got these dudes in their 30s and 40s and they actually, you know, willing to waste money and waste time. My time, the older I get, my time is even more valuable. Before I go, let me tell you, man, I had a dude reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? I knew from work, we was cool from work and whatnot. And um, we stopped talking, man. We stopped talking because this dude, he broke the bro code. Feel me? He was going to put me on with his cousin. I was trying to smash his cousin. This dude gonna go ahead and text my phone. Oh, you in there like swimwear? She wants she want to see you tonight. What you doing, bro? What are you what are you doing, man? You know I got I live with my girlfriend. What are you doing? That's it, bro. There's there's no need to talk after that anymore because you knew better. You knew better. I have nothing to say to you anymore. That's lame sucker shit, man. You don't know nothing about bro code. That's why I don't have friends. That's why I stay away from people, man. It's been a good year year and a half. He done reached out to me yesterday. I didn't respond. 
because like I just said, man, my time is, the older I get, my time is valuable to me. I don't have time for the bull crap. I don't have time to let to risk having somebody risk tricking me up out of my relationship, tricking me up out of my position because you don't know how to keep your mouth shut. You don't know how to talk around things. I'm good on that shit, man, for real, for real. But yeah, fellas, man, you get up in the age, man, You as a man, you get in your 30s, your 40s, man, you better be careful trying to take these women serious that are the same age as you and older. I'm telling you right now, man, unless they're willing to just serve straight up King's treatment, leave her alone. And these older women are not willing to do that. These older women cannot afford to do that, a lot of them, man. They want you to provide. They want you to sweep them off their feet. A woman in her 30s wants you to sweep her off her feet like she's some high schooler, like she's some beautiful college woman that just graduated from college. Get the freak out of here. I'll be damn, I'll be in my, my 40s sweeping a 35-year-old, a 36-year-old, 37-year-old woman, a 40-year-old woman off her feet. She better be sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> Straight like that. I'll catch you on the next one, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff. Peace and love.